Inaugurated in 1936, this monumental achievement stood as the largest concrete structure ever constructed. Its remarkable engineering prowess played a pivotal role in the development of the American Southwest in the early 20th century, offering flood control, hydroelectric power, and ensuring a dependable water source for millions. This is the story of the Hoover Dam. With plans dating back to 1900 to harness the mighty Colorado River, it wasn't until 1928 that the United States Congress approved the project, commencing initial surveying. The onset of the Great Depression a year later saw the project as a means for the government to provide vital employment in the burgeoning American Southwest, which had experienced rapid population growth prior to the stock market crash. Situated 26 miles southwest of Las Vegas on the Nevada-Arizona border, the project necessitated the relocation of numerous workers and their families, prompting the establishment of a new town. Boulder City, owned and managed by the government, was intended as a model for the nation during the economic downturn. To expedite the project, President Hoover ordered construction to begin in May 1931, even before the necessary infrastructure in Boulder City was fully established. Many workers resided in makeshift tents, known as Ragtown. Seeking respite from harsh conditions, they frequented the then small outpost of Las Vegas, catalyzing its growth and reputation for entertainment. Despite challenging living conditions, work commenced on diverting the Colorado River to enable construction on the dry river. Four 56-foot diversion tunnels, bored through the canyon using dynamite and pneumatic jackhammers, redirected the water flow. Cofferdams were then erected to facilitate construction on the exposed river. Employing a gravity arch design, the Hoover Dam relies on its own weight and water pressure to secure its position within the canyon. Surface smoothing of the canyon walls was crucial to prevent leaks, marking the introduction of hard hats for worker safety. Concrete pouring began ahead of schedule in 1933, utilizing a segmented approach to expedite curing. Special molds, fitted with cooling pipes, facilitated faster hardening, while an innovative cable system transported concrete from plants on the Nevada side to the construction site. Upon completion in 1935, two years ahead of schedule, the 726-foot high dam sealed the diversion tunnels, allowing the Colorado River to create the reservoir now known as Lake Mead. Concurrently, the power plant and associated infrastructure were outfitted, with the dam commencing electricity generation by the end of 1936. This monumental undertaking the Hoover Dam project also fostered a sense of camaraderie and resilience among the workers, but many of whom hailed from diverse backgrounds and regions across the country. Despite the harsh desert environment and the ever-present dangers of construction work, their shared dedication to the project's success forged lasting bonds and a legacy of accomplishment. As the dam's towering structure gradually took shape, it became a symbol of hope and progress during a time of national hardship. Its completion not only provided much-needed employment, but also stood as a testament to human ingenuity and determination in the face of adversity. Beyond its immediate economic and infrastructural impact, the Hoover Dam's legacy endures as a testament to the transformative power of large-scale engineering projects. Its contributions to flood control, energy production, and water management continue to benefit the region to this day, serving as a reminder of what can be achieved through collaboration, innovation, and perseverance. The dam's completion marked a triumph of human endeavor, showcasing the ability of individuals to come together in pursuit of a common goal. Its monumental scale and innovative design captured the attention of people around the world, earning it a place among the most iconic engineering achievements of the 20th century. Moreover, the Hoover Dam's legacy extends beyond its physical presence, inspiring future generations of engineers, architects, and innovators to push the boundaries of what is possible. Its enduring significance serves as a reminder of the transformative impact that infrastructure projects can have on society, economy, and the environment. As the sun sets behind the towering walls of the Hoover Dam, casting a golden glow over the tranquil waters of Lake Mead, one cannot help but reflect on the incredible journey that led to its creation. From the arduous days of construction in the scorching desert heat to its status as an enduring symbol of human achievement, the Hoover Dam stands as a testament to the power of perseverance, innovation, and collective effort. As we gaze upon this marvel of engineering, let us not only appreciate its tangible contributions to society but also recognize the intangible legacy it leaves behind a legacy of resilience, progress, and the boundless potential of the human spirit.
May the story of the Hoover Dam continue to inspire and captivate generations to come, reminding us of what can be accomplished when we dare to dream big and work together towards a common goal.